Hello dear viewers, welcome to Solly Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to reveal 20 advanced features, tips, tricks, and secrets hidden within Filmora 13 to supercharge your video editing. Let's jump right in and save you some precious time. Trick number 20, Player Ruler. Find it in the display settings below the player. Enable the ruler in Filmora 13's player for super precise editing. It displays a handy ruler on your preview window, letting you measure and align elements perfectly. Tip number 19, Show or Hide Guides. Use Filmora 13's Show or Hide Guides option, also in display settings, to control on-screen rulers. Hide them when not needed, then bring them back with a click for precise editing. Feature number 18, Filters tab. Filmora 13's revamped Filters tab brings over 100 stunning new LUTs and filters to elevate your video's look and feel. From subtle color grading to eye-catching effects, there's something for every project. Secret number 17, Logo Reveal Tool. Create impressive logo reveals with ease. Head over to the Media tab and explore the hidden gem, the Influencer Kit. Click Start Creating Under Brand Transmission Logo Reveal, and discover a treasure trove of pre-made templates. Trick number 16, Intro Tool. Head back to the Media tab and delve into the wonders of the Influencer Kit. There, you'll find a treasure trove of pre-designed intro templates specifically crafted to capture attention in a flash. Feature number 15, Text-to-Speech Panel. Double-click the text on the timeline, and explore the text-to-speech panel. There, you can fine-tune language, voice selection, speech rate, and even use auto match to synchronize the voiceover with your video Wondershare. clips. Creativity simplified. Effortlessly add voiceovers with Filmora 13's built-in text-to-speech feature. Wondershare creativity simplified. Tip number 14. Advanced audio channels. Add any music or audio clip to your timeline, then double-click it to open the editing panel. Don't miss the audio channel box at the bottom. Here, you'll find powerful options like copy left to right, copy right to left, and flip left right to balance your audio, create unique stereo effects, and troubleshoot channel imbalances. Feature number 13, AI Music Update. Head over to the Audio tab and click on the AI Music tool. This update brings a whole new level of creative freedom with expanded music options, allowing you to find the perfect soundtrack that complements your video. But that's not all. Filmora 13 also provides more adjustment options within the AI Music tool to fine-tune the music to your liking. Trick number 12, Project Backup System. Let's recover a project. Head over to the File menu and click on Project Backup. Navigate through the Projects window on the left and find your project. Double-click on it to open it. You'll see a list of your project backups displayed on the right. Simply select the backup you want to restore and click Open. Tip number 11. Isolate audio or video with ease. The Detach Audio and Video feature. Simply locate your desired media file in the media library. Then, with the file selected, take a look at the player window. You'll see icons for audio and video displayed there. Drag the desired icon audio speaker or video screen directly onto the timeline. Filmora 13 will automatically separate the audio or video from the media file, placing it on a separate track for independent editing. Feature number 10. Now, the feature I want to shine a light on is the drawing tools. Head over to the tools bar and look for drawing tools. This nifty feature lets you create basic shapes like rectangles, arrows, ellipses, and triangles. But hold on, it's not just about static visuals. With this gem, you can draw directly on your clips, adding dynamic graphics, custom animations, and even some masking magic. No need for third-party software or complex skills here. Not just draw, but precisely adjust the size, position, and rotation of any shape, making them fit your vision perfectly. But wait, there's more. Breathe life into your creations with keyframe animation. Shapes dance, morph, and pop onto the screen, adding a whole new dimension to your edits. And the fun doesn't stop there. 
Ditch the boring defaults and paint your shapes in any color your heart desires. Match your brand, create thematic elements, or go wild with a rainbow explosion. Add a touch of mystery or drama with subtle or bold shadows. Give your shapes depth and dimension, making them truly stand out from the crowd. Tip number 09. Now, let's explore another fantastic and relatively new addition to Filmora 13, the Quick Preview Mode. This feature has quickly become my favorite, and I'll tell you why. Just one click, and boom, instant playback. Or, for super speedy access, hit the B key on your keyboard, instant gratification at your fingertips. Instant frustration as you grab and drag the playhead for the hundredth time. Not anymore. Quick Preview Mode is your secret weapon for effortless, instant clip playback. Moving on to feature number 08, let's talk about the value boxes of color wheels. It's simple, double-click your clip on the timeline, head to the colors panel, and click on color wheels. But then, look down. Tucked neatly beneath the three wheels are your new best friends, the red, green, and blue, RGB values boxes. We all know about those awesome color wheels, right? But Filmora 13 has snuck in a secret weapon lurking just below them, the color values boxes. These aren't just decoration, folks, they're your key to precision color control. These boxes aren't just fancy numbers. They let you fine-tune your colors with pinpoint accuracy. At feature number 07, we're diving deeper into Filmora 13 and exploring a game-changing hidden feature. Disable clip and enable clip. Find any clip on your timeline, video, audio, element, you name it. Now, right-click on it and behold, the magic option, disable clip, click it. Poof, your clip vanishes from the timeline, but it's not gone forever. It's just chilling in the background, waiting for its grand return. This magic trick isn't limited to video clips. Want to temporarily mute a pesky audio track? Disable it. Ready to bring your hidden clip back into the spotlight? Simply click on it again, and choose Enable Clip. It's like it never left. Now, let's delve into feature number 06, something truly intriguing. Interface liberation in Filmora 13. It's all about drag and drop simplicity. Just grab the timeline by its top edge, the toolbar area, and drag it anywhere you like. Want it on the side? Done. Prefer it docked above the player? No problem. You're the master of your editing domain. This power extends beyond the timeline. Drag the player and media library to create a workspace that perfectly suits your editing style. Got a multi-monitor setup? Arrange panels across screens for ultimate editing real estate. Let's unveil the fifth secret feature that's a game changer in text animation, loop animation. It's easier than ever. Simply add your text and then head to the titles panel. Customize its style. Click on the animations tab and prepare to be amazed by the loop section. Here, you'll find a treasure trove of free, captivating loop animations just waiting to be unleashed. And the best part? All loop animations are completely free. Filmora 13 removes the barriers and lets you bring your text to life without breaking the bank. No more hunting for plugins or third-party software. Everything you need is right at your fingertips. Alright, editors, buckle up. We're reaching peak hidden feature territory with number 4, video keyframe shortcuts in Filmora 13. Raise your hand if you ever longed for video keyframe shortcuts in Filmora. We all knew audio had its fancy Alt plus click, but video remained frustratingly manual. No more. Filmora 13 has heard our cries and unleashed a game changer. Get this, Alt plus left click isn't just for audio anymore. Hold that Alt key down, select your video clip, and bam! Instant keyframe. It's that simple. Remember, these keyframes are just the beginning. Tweak them, refine them, and string them together to create complex animations that elevate your videos. Alright, let me share the third secret trick with you. You know, you can easily copy the adjusted values of any footage on your timeline and apply them to another clip. Let me demonstrate how it's done. So, when you've tweaked the size, position, rotation, or opacity of a clip on your timeline, and you want to apply those changes to the next clip, just double-click on the clip with the adjusted values. Add a keyframe for all these values. For instance, click on this keyframe icon at the top of the transform tool. This adds a keyframe to your clip. To transfer it to the next clip, right-click on that keyframe, copy it. Then right-click on the next clip where you want to apply the changes, and click Paste Keyframe. 
This keyframe allows you to easily copy and paste the size, position, rotation values, and effects of any clip. It's a handy trick for your video editing. Now, let's move on to hidden trick number two. In Filmora 13, you don't need to repeatedly click that plus sign to manage your tracks. Instead, simply right-click on any track in the timeline, and you'll get the same Manage Track settings. Isn't that cool? I was thrilled to find this option in Filmora 13. We all appreciate a flexible and powerful Filmora 13, don't we? And now, let's explore feature number one. Filmora 13 introduces Templates Aspect Ratio and Duration Filters. You can easily find your favorite templates by filtering them based on aspect ratio, whether it's all, landscape, portrait, or square. Moreover, you can filter templates based on duration. There are plenty of options, such as no limit, 0 to 15 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, and even from seconds to minutes. This feature will definitely be useful for efficiently filtering templates. And that's a wrap. If you love today's tips, smash that like button, share, and subscribe for more. Keep creating, keep innovating. Until next time, happy editing.